So we're here at the Toradex booth, and uh, okay, this is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. It's a self-balancing wheelchair. Yeah, hey, hi, I'm Pascal. So, I'm... what's your company? Uh, we are not a company yet. We are a student project from ETH Zurich, and we're using the computer modules from Toradex to control the whole chair. And we are in a stand climbing wheelchair. That's so cool. Hello, who are you? Hello, my name is Stefan Dubach. I am also from, I'm from Toradex. And we are here at Embedded World presenting our latest news. We have uh, new products like Colibri IMX6 ULL with Wi Fi this time. We have uh, announcing our Polys IMX8. And we're also offering new carrier boards, extending, for example, compatible with Arduino. And, uh, and your boards are in here. Our boards yeah. are where, below where the are seat. They? Below the seat. Below the seat, there's one? There's one board. Just yeah. one? Just one processor for everything. everything. Yeah. So what can I do? Can you show? So yeah, we're balancing. So here, so you're very agile. You can turn on spot, right? And you don't have small wheels that got cut. Some curbs. Yeah. In the end, we can go up the stairs. No, you're not going to be able to go up the stairs, are you? Really? Uh, are we? Sure. We use the rubber tracks, which are very safe. Now the seat is always level, so we have a sensor which yeah. recognizes the stairs, and then the seat is always leveling, and we can go up pretty, pretty fast. Yeah, that's normal. It's no problem. It's really. It's normal. There's no problem. Yeah, it's really. You see, it's really, it's really stable. It, it doesn't. It doesn't move. We'll be able to turn, yeah, so you can, can actually go. It go looks a bit scary. Wide. It looks scary, but it's, it's safe. still stable. So this is one of the goals of. Uh, this is one of the goals of your company, right? To enable amazing stuff? Yes, we're fully po focusing actually on the computing solutions, but the cool thing is actually really things like that that you enable new products, new technologies. That's cool. You're from ETH Zurich. Yes, absolutely. And I mean, the whole project is sponsored, and Toradex is one of our sponsors, so that's. Yeah, we got but their. We saw their new modules. They were, looked really cool. We approached the them. Of Switzerland supporting or no? Supporting no, the no. We we have um, like a room on the university, and coaching. Why is this not their priority for every uh, handicap? Should have one of those, right? Yeah, we think so. That's why we want to make a startup out of it once we finish studies to how bring this to market. How much do you think it's going to cost? Yeah, we cannot say this right now. Ooh, oh, but uh, it should be comparable to other wheelchairs, like. Really? Other power wheelchairs. It should not be much more expensive, because then it will also be covered by insurances. Nice. Yeah. Like Nick can any stair, you know, yeah. with a conventional uh, lift that you usually have in, in the apartments, uh, you're actually covering one chair. Yeah, we can transfer onto the top. So we have these small wheels coming out here. <laughs> so uh, you don't have to see backwards. Yeah. Nice. And it can go even further stair. As long as like the radius is not too small, and the transition is automatic, so I don't have to do anything. It's it's Just fully back, automatic. Um, you can also, it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. Really? You're not gonna get even. And uh, you can even lift it up for the help. Lift it up. So if you wanna grab something from a shelf, you're now in a better position. That's too amazing. That's too so awesome. Let me see how I come back again. <laughs> so, uh, Tordex is based in Switzerland, right? Yes. Switzerland has not just watches, not just chocolate, but also the coolest technology in the world. I would say Switzerland is a lot about innovation. We don't have a lot of resources uh, except innovation, and that's why we love to support these guys. But uh, how, can you help them to get this out sooner? Well, right obviously, you know, there's yeah. a lot of regulations. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of regulations that you have to fulfill, uh, but I think uh, we'll do everything that they can actually get to market. But at the regulation? End, uh, we don't need regulation, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you should just get it out. Whoa. Yeah. How long is the battery life? It's about one day, so we estimate about 20 kilometers. And but uh, this is the first prototype. Because it's only on two wheels, are you able to get further, faster, stronger? We don't what? know yet. What we know. think is if you are in mud with another wheelchair, there is really a high force on the front wheel, and we don't have that. So we think if the 
the roads are bad, we will be better. On the SOC that's on the Toradex board, you're able to balance and everything? Absolutely. Or is that another part? No, it's all the same chip. All on the same chip? It's all on the same chip. The only thing that's external is like our app. It's just an Android app. It's nice. really ugly at the moment. Only Android, right? <laughs> only Android. We don't want iOS. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go over here because uh, maybe this uh, this is related to this development kit that you had, right? No, no. It's actually a completely different thing. That is a, it's a also demo. It's also balancing. Um, where is, let me see where the project is. No problem. There is a remote control actually yeah. to control this. But it has self-balancing tech. Yes, uh, it's actually inverse pendulum, and you can. Act you can uh, demonstrate uh, the capability of heterogeneous multicore. So you have, for one thing, the balancing robot that is uh, controlled by the M4. It's a real-time capable uh, CPU. And the same chip you find actually... Uh, uh, where is it? Okay. This, is a, uh, this is the IMX7, so it has yes. a heterogeneous system. And you have all this kind of support. Let's go around here. Okay. Let's check some of the other... No need to control. Position. You just go, you just lean back. Yeah. It always tries to stay on the last position when I move the joystick. The next step is you're gonna uh, uh, enable people to walk around, right? Yeah, we, we, this is, cool. there are exoskeletons on the way, but I think it will still take some years. But uh, this will be the next big step, yeah, sure. Cool. Segway principle. Segway principle. <laughs> Let's check over here, what, what, what's going on here in this corner? Demo of our partner and micro. Uh, you see here a stereo camera vision system that is uh, looking at these signs, it's analyzing them at, uh, online and detecting the sign and controlling actually the, the car remotely, whether it's speed, whether it's actually the turns. Is it running and on the NVIDIA? It's an NVIDIA TK1. TK1 chip. Yeah. And it's a good demo actually showing the capabilities of these, these technologies. Do you want to support the newer NVIDIA also? One, X2? Uh, let's say we're working on it. Working on it yeah. <laughs> Don't want to get secret information out. Let's go around. Yep. Around here. Uh, some of the carrier boards or? These, no, these are carrier boards from our partners. So, you know, we are really focusing on modules, on the software, and really doing that 100%. That's what we are doing well. But we don't, uh, we cannot serve all different markets. That's why we engaged the partner program. So you see here from US, from Germany, uh, there is uh, even from Spain, uh, as well as again from, from US. And we provide extensive come. support, an ecosystem, uh, and all these cool engineers, all uh, in Switzerland and in the US. And it's all distributed. We have a lot of people around the world. We are present in Japan, China. We are uh, in India, in three places. We are in, uh, I would say, in Europe, Switzerland, uh, Brazil, US. So whenever people have questions, they send it in. They get served within 24 hours, whether it's in, 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 in any time zone, in any language, almost. And uh, where do you find those cool uh, engineers? Well, they're difficult to find. But uh, I think it's also cool to work for Toradex at the end. Yeah. And it is cool to see such applications at the end really helping these guys to get to market and have, uh, implementing their really cool ideas. Cool. And uh, I see over there, you, you were just mentioning before, right? IMX8 is coming. Yes. So you will have IMX8 and then other things we'll see. We'll have. It's your carrier board yeah. system over here. Yeah. We're looking over here. Let's just check it. Okay. Those are, this is the... Because uh, when yeah. you put this, some this pressure... Yep, that's the... It actually doesn't... Sorry? It doesn't bend the module. Maybe put that this, this way. Oh, okay. This is the, this is the, sec this is the secret sauce of Toradex. This kind of stuff, right? Uh, well, that's our main, main, main technology. But it's, what you see is obviously only hardware. But, you know, 90% of our, our engineering goes actually into software. And that's where the value added place. And... Um, customers trying out our technology, they, they, they get free support because I really think we really want to help the customer to get to market at, at the end. If he's not getting to market, there's no use actually starting a project again. And it's all about the long tail of ideas that people have and technology uh, to enable new ideas, enable new things. Yeah, well, 
We haven't thought about such a wheelchair, stair climbing wheelchair. There's a lot of new technologies coming out. And the sports car out. I saw over there. Yes, it's a bit expensive, but uh, um, I think it's a cool technology. And then our IoT stuff comes along. Security. There's a lot of new themes, topics that you have to to, to get to solve actually, and uh, we are providing the base technology for it, which means hardware, software, and support.